with this okay uh water analogy now water analogy for example for example there is a tank there is a tank which has some water in it there is a tank which has certain water in it now this is let us say tank 1 and then there is one more tank which has again water but less water as compared to tank 1 so this is tank 2 for example now we have one pipe to which these two tanks are connected now what will happen some water will start flowing from this tank to this tank right until until this tank reaches to the same level it reaches to the same level here like okay so if this height and this height of the water is equal let us say it is h1 and this is h2 so if h1 and equal to h2 so um, you know this current will not flow so this water current will flow in pipe until h1 is not equal to h2 or h1 is greater than h2 this is very simple concept this is what will happen right for example if you have some let us say something a uh, rotating part here let us say some rotating turbine is connected here with some fans now this turbine will rotate in this direction till you have this water flowing till this water is flowing now if you want to make this water keep on flowing for long duration what you will do you will use a pump here a pump and you will connect this pump to this tank and to this tank you will connect this this pump to these two tanks now what will happen this tank will uh, you know take water from here and it will send this water to this particular tank so this is how the water will keep on flowing now okay so the water will keep on flowing like this in this tank it is coming from this tank right now from this what will happen your fan will keep on rotating because because okay so <clears throat> now we'll make this tank once again this is this was the tank here and this so now we'll uh, remove this one now now this particular tank this particular fan will keep on rotating because your this pump is you know what it is it is doing it is taking the water from uh, you know this particular tank and sending this water to this particular tank here and this is how the water is circulating in one direction now the water is circulating in this direction so this fan which is connected to this pipe and the water current in this pipe is making this fan rotating in one direction okay now <coughs> let us compare this whole analogy with the electrical circuit now this is your emf emf is nothing but electro motive force electro motive force has a direction it has a direction now this particular is your charge the water is charge this is charge this pipe is a conductor 
pipes are conductor let us say wires and the current inside these pipes so the water inside these pipes is current right it is current now so this is what happens in an electrical circuit basically you have a source uh, of voltage which is nothing but emf and it has a it is nothing but a force and it is applied in a particular direction it has a direction right now if you change the direction of this force if this pump the direction of the water flow will change but to make this water keep on rotating in this particular path you need to have this emf here if you remove this emf what will happen due to the difference in the potential gradient due to difference in the height basically of the two tanks the water will keep on flowing in from one tank to another tank and ultimately what will happen these two will settle down at certain height here so when the uh water will reduce to this level and water in this tank will increase to this level your this particular water current will start will stop and this will also stop right so this is this is what we call as this h1 is the potential at a node and h2 is the potential at another node and this is your load basically so this is the water analogy basically which represents an electrical circuit now why do we need the sign convention now